le danger des petits péchés. Elle ne réside pas dans le fait de commettre des petits péchés. Car on demande à Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pardon, et Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pardonne. Mais elle réside dans le fait qu'on prend une habitude à commettre les petits péchés et de penser qu'elles sont normales. Et à ce moment-là, on ne demande plus pardon à Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. C'est là le danger. On regarde ensemble cette explication. Hellfire, ya akhwan, is something, wallahi, not to be taken lightly. And I recall a hadith we mentioned last week in relation to the majority of the believers that enter hellfire. What do they enter because of? Al Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, brothers and sisters, because it, 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 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives sins by saying that. He said, the, the, the majority of the reasons why Muslims end up in hellfire for, for a while is he called it muhakkirat al dhunub they are the sins that we take for granted you know like little things they're forbidden but they're not major and we don't take them as important we say it's just a sin man it's all right just a little bit it's just a kiss it's just a look it's just a, a lie it's just a little cheat it's just a little theft it's just once it's okay we take them for granted what happens when you take a small sin for granted when you don't care about it when you're careless what happens what do you do you keep doing it you keep repeating it that's the danger when you take something so lightly we in our nature we continue to repeat it until finally it becomes a habit we we're desen desensitized to it we don't have any more sen we're not sensitive to it anymore and so it becomes a normal part of our life would you believe that some people and i'm very sad to say that among the muslims themselves they have false hope false hope and so Sins in their life become so normal like they're eating and drinking. It means nothing. It actually becomes halal to them. They'll think it's halal. It's all right. What's wrong with that? It's halal. It's okay. Why is religion so hard? Religion is not hard. We make it hard on ourselves. But when we take sins for granted, we ruin our character. You know, we tell our children, don't lie. Why are we so harsh on that? We are so careful that our children, they're five, six years old, so we teach them not to lie or steal. And we punish them. Why? Because we don't want this habit to develop in them. They're just children. They lied once or twice. It's not a big deal. No one's going to hold it against them. They're just children. But we're afraid of the habit. It becomes a routine. And so they become liars. They become cheats. They become thieves. Similarly, Islam forbid minor sins because of this same reason. So Rasul says with great sorrow, many of the people of my ummah will enter hellfire because they take minor sins for granted and therefore it becomes a ritual, a habit for them. So some people have false hope. God will forgive me. God will forgive me. You're sick. You're ill. You need to cure yourself. God cannot be fooled. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Merci d'avoir regardé. Et n'oubliez pas, abonnez-vous. Et à la prochaine fois, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.